In 1909, the director of the Riga City Art Museum, Wilhelm Neumann, reported in an annual report on the museum's work in the newspaper Kunstbeilage des Riga, Riga er Tageblatts that in 1908, three paintings, two plaster casts, and 16 graphic pages, including three artworks by Zelm Plavniak, were bought for the collection. In the coming years, the museum bought a few more watercolors by Plavniak as well as several woodcuts by Alice Dmitriev, thus supplementing the museum's collection with the work of local women artists. However, it is rather difficult to evaluate the achievements of Latvian women artists from the period of the 19th century and early 20th century, as public collections have only preserved a limited amount of works, although it is known from exhibition catalogues and reviews that at that time quite a large number of women were involved in local art scene. For example, the collection of Latvian painting from the 18th century until the first half of the 20th century at the most significant local collection of art, the Latvian National Museum of Art, includes only 127 paintings by 38 women artists, making up 3.8% uh, of the total number of works in the collection. Furthermore, most of the works are from the 1920s and 30s, while only 14 belong to the period before the First World War. As works of unknown artists, in some cases they could also have been painted by women, this collection includes 52 paintings, four of which uh, have recently been attributed to painter Lyubov Sophie Grimm. Another 10 paintings of women artists related to Latvia from the period are kept in the museum collection of foreign painting. A similar situation uh, with about 4% uh, works by women is found in the collection of Latvian graphic art from the 18th century until the first half of the 20th century, which holds less than uh, 400 women-made drawings, watercolors, as well as artworks made in uh, various printmaking techniques. Most of these artworks created before uh, 1915 come from three historical sources, three historical collections. The collection of the Kurland Province Museum, the collection of the Riga Art Society, and the collection of Riga City Museum and its uh, the processor, uh, the City Painting Gallery. The Riga City Painting Gallery, Stadische Gemälde Gallery, was founded in 1868 and opened in 1869 in temporary premises in Real Gymnasium. The initial basis of the gallery collection was 47 original paintings and their copies by foreign artists that Riga City took over from the Italian-born Riga resident Domenico de Robiani in 1866. Later, the number of exhibits continued to increase through donations, bequests, and purchases. From 1872, the painting collection of Riga City was exhibited together with artworks owned by the Riga Art Society, Rigischer Kunstverein. Uh, uh, it was established in 1870 with the organization of exhibitions as one of its most visible directions of activity. Until the opening of its art salon in 1898, the Riga Art Society would at times exhibit some of the recent works by local artists as temporary complement uh, to its joint display with the Riga Painting Gallery or the visiting exhibitions. Since 1879, for collection of the Riga uh, City Painting Gallery and Riga Art Society was created and published a united catalogue. The second joint catalogue of both collections, published in 1889, lists 306 collection items in total that were located in the gallery entrance hall and nine rooms. Alongside foreign artists, there was a separate group of 19th century Baltic German artists' works, approximately 40 paintings. There is only one artwork by a uh, woman in the catalogue, the painting uh, Still Life with Home Altar by Valmier born Wilhelmin Schwank. 
She uh, donated the painting to the Riga Art Society, perhaps after the exhibition of some artworks in the joint galleries of both organizations in 1880s. It is known that Schwank uh, exhibited eight paintings in the exhibitions, including several portraits, a gender painting, and a still life. Information in historical catalogues about the artworks that were in the collection of the Riga uh, art society and about how they were pur uh, purchased shows that for the most part the collection was expanded when artists who exhibited their art at society's exhibitions donated the artworks or in more seldom cases the artworks were purchased. In 1892 for instance artist Juli Wilhelmin Hagen Schwarz from Tartu donated one of her paintings, Portrait of a Young Italian Woman. In 1900, the society received the painting Horses Under the Oak Tree by Helene von Wrangel, a Baltic German landscape artist and animal painter who was educated at the St. Petersburg Academy of Arts. Neither of the artists was born in present-day Latvia and did not work there, but they did take part quite regularly in the exhibitions in Riga. In late 1902 uh, and early 1903, the Riga Art Society organized an exhibition at the Great Guild in Riga of artworks by Baroness Elie von Laudon, who was educated in St. Petersburg and Paris, Paris and was living in Florence. The exhibition featured copies of a 16 painting cycle of frescoes by Italian artist Andrea del Sarto which were painted from, uh, for the Clostro della Scalco cloister in Florence and presented uh, the life of John the Baptist. The copies were in original size, so that means approximately three meters high. And Loden had studied them and copied them for more than 10 years. With the, Riga, with the help of Riga Art Society, the exhibition went travel to Vienna. A few months later, an album of photo reproductions was released and Loden donated a different artwork to the association. A copy of the central part of the Sartos Fresco Holy Supper from the Church of San Salve in Florence. There are a few other uh, artworks by women which the Riga Art Society is known to have purchased or bought for its collection. The catalogue of 1899, for instance, shows the recent, uh, recent uh, uh, purchase of Portrait of a Girl by Mathilde Paul from Vienna, who spent several years working in Livonia and Kur Kurland. This is a painting which was apparently celebrated in April 1896 by local artist Friedrich Moritz, who wrote about in a great detail and said that it's presented an image that was similar to a vision. In 1910, in turn, the society purchased the painting Washing a Doll by Alice Dannenberg, who was working in Paris. This artwork was first exhibited at the Autumn Salon in Paris in 1908 and late in uh, 1909 and early 1910 it was shown in Riga at an exhibition of Parisian artists that was organized by the Riga Art Society. Dannenberg's painting were along those of many distinguished French painters, and later her painting was reproduced in the yearbook of Baltic Art, Jahrbuch für Bildende Kunst in den Onsee Provinzen. The city uh, painting gallery initially had hardly any artworks by Baltic artists. It's instead presenting art from the Dutch, Italian, German, and other schools of painting. Still, the very first joint catalogue published by the Rid City Painting Gallery and the Riga Art Society in 1879 included the work of one local artist, a still of painting Grapes by Riga-born Wilhelmine Kieber, who was trained and worked in Dresden. Together with eight other artworks, the painting was donated to the Rig uh, City Painting Gallery by Riga City Councilman uh, Karl von Brutzner, in 1869. The catalogue also includes a copy of Women of Vestalia by 18th century painter Angelic Kaufmann. True, both of these artworks disappeared from the collection over the course of time. Kiber's still life was not present already in the next catalogue, while Kaufmann's copy was last included in the catalogue of 1899. Still, 
A few years along, the city painting gallery received another composition by Wilhelmine Kiber, which, was survived, which has survived to the present day. It was part of a gift from former Riga mayor, late Ludwig Wilhelm Kerkovius, to the gallery in 1904. 26 paintings in all. He was not only collecting art, but since 1879, he also rented premises in his private mansion at Totleben Boulevard for displaying collections belonging to the City Painting Gallery and Rig Art Society. His collection mostly focused on 19th century paintings from the Munich, Dusseldorf and Berlin schools of painting, along with a few paintings from other schools and periods, including three from Baltic artists. A part of Kerkovius' collection was made by, up, uh, by the paintings obtained from art exhibitions. In the all-time Baltic Artists exhibition in 1901 in Riga, he acquired this painting by Wilhelmin Kiber, while the composition in the swings by Austrian gender painter Marie Wunsch was purchased at the Munich Jubilee exhibition in 1891. In September 1905, the newly built Riga City Art Museum was opened, where the collection of the Riga City Painting uh, Gallery was moved. The Riga Art Society also got exhibition space there. Painting Friedrich Moritz in his journalistic tour of the new art museum in newspaper Duna Zeitung invited Rigans to wonder that they have, quote, a painting gallery of almost 500 works, a collection of sculptures and a cabinet of prints, not to mention the Baltic art collection in the Rig Art Society premises, quote ends. Before moving to the new building of the Rig City Art Museum, its director, Wilhelm Neuven, assessed the quality of artworks. He dismissed more than a half of the 492 items owned by the Riga City and the Riga Art Society as unworthy of a museum collection. But the rest, together with some new acquisitions from 1905 and 201 painting from the Friedrich Wilhelm Breder Law collection, was included in illustrated scientific catalogue published in late 1906. The catalogue also includes portrait of an old Livonian woman by Helene Reichardt who received her education in St. Petersburg Academy of Art. She was born in Riga and painted the portrait there. In 1901, it was exhibited at the all-time Baltic Artists exhibitions, uh, Exhibition, and in 1906, Reichardt donated it to the new museum. In the future, future years, too, the Riga City Art Museum received gifts of artworks by female artists. In 1908, for instance, Paris-based painter and graphic artist Ida Felitz donated portrait of a mother to the art museum of her hometown. Presumably, this portrait is the same painting, what was called Mami, which was exhibited in Riga in 1888 as one of the 12 artworks. An anonymous critic in the newspaper Riga Zeitung noted, the painting along with the two still life paintings featuring fruit and wrote that the artworks were distinguished because they were painted in the precise and elegant way, thus ensuring that they could be seen as successful. In 1907 and 1909, the museum received unglazed porcelain sculptures from the St. Petersburg Imperial Porcelain Factory. Fourteen artworks, including busts of uh, Russian Tsars as well as thematic sculptures produced by well-known Russian sculptors. Two of them were from uh, women who had been graduated from the St. Petersburg Academy of Art. Adela Werner, with a sculptural welfare, and Marie Dillon, born in Paneveges in Lithuania, with a sculpture use. Both sculptures have been in the collection of the Rundal Palace Museum since 1983 and are presented in the decorative art exhibition from the Gothic style to Art Nouveau. The most through all information about new acquisitions by the Riga City Art Museum is found in the, an annual report by the museum's director, Wilhelm Neumann. In Russian, in Kratki Obzorishki Orgorodskoy Upravi, on the period between 1904 and 1915, and in German, in the newspaper Kunstbeilag des Riga Tageblatts on the period between 1906 and 1913. 
In mentioned German newspaper, reproductions of the most important new acquisitions were published alongside the reports. Since the beginning, the Riga City Art Museum had prioritized the collecting of Baltic art, including works by artists of local origin created abroad. In its purchasing policy, the museum tried to focus on artists whose works were not yet included in the collection or represented uh, poorly, but resources were sufficient for only a few purchases. Cheapness of graphic art compared with painting and sculpture was probably the reason why works on paper predominated among new acquisitions. Generally speaking, the museum purchased not so few artworks by local artists between 1905 and 1915, but quite few of those uh, these were by women. This was true despite the fact that among local German artists who uh, uh, women represented nearly one half of those who took part in the regular exhibitions of the Baltic Artists Association, Baltischer Kunstlerbund. A very few works by female artists were bought for the painting collection. The first oil painting was purchased only in 1915, Lucy Miriam's Yellow Roses, which was exhibited that year in a local artist's exhibition organized to support the Red Cross Union of Nurses. In 1917, the museum purchased Village Landscape by Elsa Schuchart. A slightly larger number of artworks by women were purchased for the graphic cabinet and drawing collection. The first was a watercolor uh, autumn scenes, which was painted by Marta Hellman and was purchased in 1907. One of two uh, women artists from Riga, whose work was purchased by the museum several times, was Zelma Plavniak, from whom the museum purchased a total of seven artworks in 10 years. In 1908, one of her color lithographs and two of her linocuts, which you see here, uh, were purchased for the graphic art collection. One watercolor was purchased at the exhibition of Baltic Artists Association in 1911, followed by two more watercolors of buildings in Riga in 1913, and another watercolor in 1916. In later years, the Latvian National Museum of Art, or at that time, Riga City Art Museum, has collected more examples of Plaunek's work, presenting her as a diverse and accomplished graphic artist. It is also through thought that exhibition catalogues from the early 20th century press reports and a catalog from the, her 2014 exhibition staged in Fürstenfeldbruck in the small town near Munich to which Plauneck moved after First World War, all show that she seriously, seriously focused on painting as well. But our museum and other collections in Latvia have no examples of her paintings. The greatest recognition in terms of purchases was achieved by modern graphic artist Alice Dmitriev from whom the Riga City Art Museum purchased 10 works between 1911 and 1915. The first three uh, color woodcuts were purchased from an um, exhibition staged by the Baltic Artist Association at the museum in late 1911. The next purchase were in 1913, when five of uh, Dmitriev's artworks um, were purchased for four to five rubles apiece. In 1915, the museum purchased another two artworks. Presumably from the aforementioned exhibition that was meant to support the Red Cross Union of Nurses. Today, the Latvian National Museum of Art has uh, 12 woodcuts by Dmitriev and her creative work is known on the basis of these artworks. Still, it is a small number of artworks purchased by Riga City Art Museum if compared to those of contemporaries of hers in the world of graphic art, such as Moritz von Grunewald, from which the museum bought more than 35 artworks, or Gerhard Kieseritzky, uh, Kieseritzky from whom uh, the museum bought at least 15 artworks. All of the women those one or several artworks were purchased from the Riga City Art Museum up 
to and including 1915, were active participants in the local art scene. But the collection lacks art by many other women who were part of that scene. The Jahrbuch, Jahrbuch für Bildende Kunst in den Ostsee-Provinzen, published between 1907 and 1913, which is the most significant visual sources, a source of lost or currently unlocated works by artists of the time, for instance, presents several tempera paintings by Susa Walter, a Tartu-born and Berlin-educated artist who worked as an uh, art teacher and art critic in Riga. The yearbook also distinguishes portraits by Marta Unferhau and artworks by Eva Margarete Borchen Schweinfurt. But the museum never did buy any of their work. Borchert Schweinfurt, without doubt, was the most significant women artist, uh, woman artist working in the territory of Latvia at the turn of the century. Unfortunately, her best works from this period have not survived until today and can only be studied from reproductions and descriptions in the press. The absence of her artworks in the museum collection is a testament of director's taste. The review of the Riga City Art Museum opening exhibition allows us to sense Neumann's sceptical stance on the issue. He thought that Borchardt Schweinfurt almost full size, uh, life size full figure pastel portraits, so here pastel is on, on the right side, uh, and the, the left side oil painting uh, uh, higher than two meters. Uh, so he thought that Borchardt Schweinfurt's almost life-size full-figure pastel portraits were doomed already during their creation, inviting readers to imagine how much space would be needed to arrange such a portrait gallery. He also cast scorn on the non-painterly contemporary appeal on the subjects. A relatively large number of women artists' works have been included in the collection of the Latvian National Museum of Art from the Kurland Province Museum, which was liquidated in 1914. 40. The museum was founded in 1818 by the Kurland Society for Literature and Art, which maintained the museum until the Second World War, creating a meaningful collection of art antiquities, documents, and natural objects. And this uh, Photo, the first and the third paintings from the left, they're from Marta Unferhau, which we don't know where they today are. Uh, from this collection, for example, came the self-portrait by Gertrude Elizabeth Reiter, which was one of the first uh, comparably um, professional women artists in Latvian territory. This painting, which, according to copies of the inventory books kept at the Herder Institute in Marburg, was donated by the artist's husband in 1824. She had studied art in Dresden, later living and working in Rome. From this collection, works by Ottilie von Bolschwing came to the Latvian National Museum of Art. She is a painter of the second half of the 19th century, what is the best represented in the public collections in Latvia although all of the preserved works, just over 100, with rare exceptions, so you can you see one of the exceptions, are study type drawings and watercolors. They show well her study process with Julius Doring, a significant painter, drawing teacher and historian of the second half of the 19th century in Jalgava, and Adolf Erhardt, a professor at the Dresden Academy of Art, this collection came to the Kurland Province Museum as a gift from her sister in late 19th century. Overall, when evaluating the works of local women artists who entered the Latvian public collections during the last decades of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century, it should be concluded that certain works, both as purchases as in gifts, regularly entered these collections. However, these acquisitions to the collections were more incidental, and they did not provide a full picture of the work of local women artists of different generations. Only in few cases we can talk about systematic creation of a specific collection of one women artist. 
Unfortunately, due to later historical circumstances, the works of women artists from the 19th century and early 20th century entered even less in the Latvian public collections. Therefore, the work of the Riga Art Society and the Riga City Art Museum in obtaining the works of local women artists in their collections is significant in today's context, as they are often the only known works of these artists. And I will um, end with my uh, one slide where I'm showing those uh, artworks uh, from uh, women artists from Latvian territory, which I hoped to see in your exhibition. So there is a nice example. So there is like um, in the uh, first row from the left, two of them, they are Helen and Reichardt. So in Riga, we have one painting here, they have three. And then uh, the upper, so the, in the right, the right corner, the, the boy portrait, this is uh, Wilhelmine Schwank. That's in Riga, we have one, they have the second painting. Uh, so the, the, the uh, Spanish or uh, girl on the left corner, this is Eva Margaret Borchardt Schweinfurt, but it's from the 30s. Uh, and this impressive lady with red dress, it's Luzi Bumeister. She, she was born in, in, in Estonian territory, but educated in Riga. And it's a very nice painting, but it's not here. And in the middle, there is Ida Felitz. And this painting uh, is in Finland. Uh, it's uh, owned by Lovisa uh, Conti Museum. And as I understood, it's in Ateneum. Uh, on loan, but I, this painting I haven't seen in or original, so I hoped to see them, but um, at least the pictures. Thank you. <laughs>